Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and today I am actually doing a different video. It's Jurassic World Evolution, and I am bringing you five different things you shouldn't do when you're a beginner in Jurassic World Evolution. Number five, do not choose the entertainment division. Now, the entertainment division requires you to make a ceratosaur, which is the first carnivorous dinosaur you are essentially going to unlock. If you are a noob, you are most likely going to mess up building the ceratosaur cage. See, it requires a lot of land and space to live in, grassland and forest. A lot of people do not know what grassland is. Maybe we have to make it a little more hilly or something i don't know but you're most likely going to mess up and the ceratosaur is most likely going to break out and you are going to fail the mission and ceratosaur is probably the most expensive choice you could choose number four do not dive into research research is essential in game but when you're a beginner do not dive into it. Research is expensive and requires a lot of money. What you do want to research at the beginning is immune response. That is the only thing you are going to probably need to research and maybe the medical treatment. Medical treatment is essential as well in game, but research is expensive and will end up making you broke. So do not dig into research. It may be tempting. Do not sell any fossils. Fossils are essential for getting more DNA for your dinos. If you sell a fossil, make sure you already have 100% of the genome. You never know when it's going to come in handy to have a dinosaur's genome 100%, either for a contract or a mission. Number two, beginners should not begin to splice their dinosaur's genes. It is costly and can lower its success rate, basically meaning it could die in captivity. What you want to do if you want to be able to add all these different genes, either wait for later in-game or spend a lot of time digging up these dinosaurs and make sure it's 100%. Otherwise, I recommend just doing it. It's less costly and you have a better chance at getting the dinosaur. Number one, beginners should not beautify their park. Now, beautifying your park will add better rating to it, but at the same time, it will take money off your total. You need this money for missions and to build dinosaurs. Plus, this is your beginning island. If you're a noob, you're gonna you do not know how to work the path system. You do not have to you do not know how to work the decoration system. So everything's just going to turn out to be a disaster. You're probably gonna wait till you have two missions, at least two missions complete, then you can start building restaurants expanding to different cages and stuff like that but do not place hotels hotels are very costly and most likely on isla matanceros you will not need a hotel it is the easiest island i can guarantee you unless you're gonna try to five star it you will not need a hotel once you do have enough money to beautify your park, you're probably going to want to master the path system and the fencing system. That has been today's video. Goodbye.